Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Matthews can outwit the defense with a nice move, then finish the play with a quick shot. That's his shock and awe zone ability. Kane's great at getting by defenders by deking them out with his puck on a string zone ability. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Detroit's got the puck. And the puck's booted away. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck. From the left side, takes the pass. Sends it in front. The Red Wings move it in. Fires it. Denies it in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Directed over to Domi. Detroit's got it in the neutral zone. The Red Wings take it across the line. Sends it in front. And that's off target. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And now they look to make something happen for the neutral zone. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Quick pass across to Perron. Unable to reach that one. Toronto's playing it through the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Domi. Detroit's regained possession of the puck. Pass it up ahead. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's kicked free. McCain's got it in the defensive zone. Great forecheck by Perron. And now he moves it to Kopp. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Pinned up along the boards. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. They've got numbers here. What a steal in his own end. Dumps it in. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. Angles it over to Yarncroft. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Red Wings have the puck now. Dishes it to Mata. Quick pass to Kopp. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Yarncroft. Takes the puck. Takes the shot. That's tipped in front. And he makes the save on that play. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. There's the save. The D picks it up, but they are still under pressure. Oh, and that's the puck. That's blocked. Now it's picked up by the defense. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Let's get the call. The Leafs will serve two minutes in the box. Detroit's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something to do. Your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And they get the puck out. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Picked up along the wall by Larkin. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And that's blocked up the line and kept in. Oh, this is frustrating for the PK unit. No question about it. This has got to get down the ice, James. You worked so hard to get it. you got to find a way to get it 200 feet and kill some valuable time. Fantastic save! Pass back to the point. Flashes the leather. What a save by Samsonov. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. And they win the draw on their own end. 
Works it across to Tavares. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. From the point, looks to make something happen. A chance from the slot. That's gloved by Sam Sodom. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Tavares gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. Larkins won the draw. Moves it to Perron. Handles the puck. Can't get it to go. Grabbed along the boards by Debrinkin. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Sensonov. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. He might have a step here. What a stop on the breakaway. The shot denies him again. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. And makes the save. Strong sliding the puck behind the net. Yarkrogh's penalty is almost expired. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Red Wings' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Shot! Oh, comes up with a stop! The Leafs have it now. Looks to set up at the point now. Stopped by the goaltender. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Oh, turns it aside once again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. At this, they turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. And that's blocked in traffic. Oh, what a save. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Both sides getting ready for this face off. And Cheryl, I can think of a keeper right now who would love nothing more than another minute here. Well, he's extremely fatigued, right, James? So this is a critical juncture of the game. If you're on the offensive side of the puck, you want to continue to wear down your opponent because you know that this goaltender is fatigued, he's vulnerable, and you got to find a way to capitalize on the opportunity. Just here in the late stages of this frame, still scoreless in this one. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. Across the line, down the left wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Gets the puck over to Lilgren. Quick feed to Krieger. Sends a pass over. Sends a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a short pass to Debrinkit. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Nice hit on the play there. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Tries to feed it over to Debrinkit. Detroit's got it across the line. Moves it quickly over to Mata. Inside the final minute of the first here. Slides it diagonally to Debrinkit. Oh, and a miss fires all alone! Paul denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Puck grab by Brody. And that's deflected. Takes a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway. 
Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Both teams generating a lot of offense in that opening frame, James. I think they have to look to getting net front presence as well. You want to make sure you're shooting through a screen, and you also have to consider where you're shooting from. You don't want to be on the perimeter. You want to fight for that interior or the middle of the ice. The Red Wings send their net advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Taken by Sprong. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And he keeps possession. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. From center, they get into the attacking area. Centering feed! And that's intercepted! Up along the wing. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Crater. Oh, and he had the answer on that one! Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. The Leafs will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck slid down the ice. Gostas Bears taking it from his own end. Handles it again. Quick pass to Sprong. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Glove save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Campside still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here. When you lose position on your opponent and you're fighting for that puck instead of coming un under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you hack, you're going to get the call. Slashing it is. A little more room out there with a little four on four. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Larkin's lugging the puck. And they manage to clear it. And now it's over to Domi. Puck picked up by Nylander. Takes a shot, and he makes a save there. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Marner's a playmaker, and a good one at that, guys. He sees the ice so well, but it's his deceptive passing that can create chances for his squad. We call that his third eye zone ability, and it's how he contributes offensively. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Moves it to Matthews. Moves it on over to Marner. And now it's grabbed by Matthews. And that goes off a player in front. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Comfer's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Detroit's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Kane's almost ready to get back on the ice. From the open ice, they gain the line. Score remains tied after the power play fails to deliver. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. Slick feed. Coughs up the puck after that hit. 
Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Samsonov's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. More than half the period left to play. Still looking for our first goal. Off the face, off they take the puck. Directs it on over to Nylander. Feeds the puck across to Sider. We got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you cross-check, it is black and it is white. And I'm telling you right now, that is a call all day long. The official saw it. It is an undisciplined penalty. Detroit's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They can't get frustrated, but they have to look for the weak side for that one-timer. The Red Wings take possession here inside the offensive zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. A chance to get it out. Gets it out of his own end. Moves the puck. Here's a chance! And that's blocked from someone in front. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Feeds it to Sider. The Red Wings gain the zone. Shot! in a playoff series, James. You want to make sure that you get on the board first. Well, mission accomplished here. Right away, they're dictating pace. Detroit's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Sends the pass over. The Leafs gain possession. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Puts it on net. Time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Moves the puck up to Matthews. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Leafs once again send out their power play unit. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Puck scooped up by Yarko. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Jocelyn for the puck, but still moves away. And that's turned aside. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Matthews will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Matthews plays it now, and he's ridden off the puck. And a stick break set up. Quick feed to Barner. Back to the blue line. Across the point. Feed to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Rasmussen's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Red Wings win the draw. Here's a shot. And that's blocked in traffic. With the blast. What a 
Gets up as he puts out the fire. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Matthews is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. They take possession as he locks him up off the face-off. Taken along the wall by Marner. And that's intercepted by Sider. And the puck leaves the zone. Tripped up on the play and the referees caught that one. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about DK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. The Leafs with a two-man advantage power play coming up. On a five-on-three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. Quick pass across to Bertuzzi. Puck knock loose in neutral zone. Shot! And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Comfers back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. To his teammate! And that pass attempt is deflected. Scores! And we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has their most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage, and it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available, and he executes. Past the midway mark of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Tavares has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Comfer's got it in the defensive end. The Red Wings are across the line and into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Bertuzzi. Nice zone entry on the left side. From the point, they take control of it. Maintains control of the puck. Into the offensive end now. Scoops up the puck. Angles it over to Bada. Lets it fly. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Samsonov's been so consistent. Stop. The goal. Goal. Puts them in front. And now they're in front, James. So they'll have some energy. You know that their first two strikes will be more urgent. But they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, he's in tight to the net, James. And he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off. So he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Red Wings have been outplayed here tonight, and yet here they are sitting with a one-goal lead, Cheryl. Yeah, but it's all about looking up the scoreboard and seeing who's on top right now, James, and they are. So forget the minority of possession. They found a way to be opportunistic and capitalize. <laughs> this is why they can score! And look who's at it again! Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. The game has so many swings of momentum, and you always look to your leader to make a difference, and that's exactly what he does when he puts this goal on. He's contagious, he's infectious when it comes to energy, and there's another example. The Red Wings have extended their lead to two here in the late goings of the second. And they need to stay focused right through this second period. Listen, they've had an outstanding first two periods, and they have to finish strong to get to the intermission and reset the tone in the third. Fires it on net, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Toronto's looking to break out. Looks to make a play over to Reeves. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Huso's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. In the final moments of this period, the Red Wings have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nice job tying up his opponent. Moves it quickly over to Kane. 
Look out, here they come on the attack. Good stand up hit. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Yernkrox won the draw there on the attack. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Fabry. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Makes the save again. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Red Wings play it along the wing. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And they keep the pressure on. Moves it to Kopp. Scores! A three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. That's a really tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top ins. The Red Wings probably don't want this period to end, given the way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo. They're moving the puck. They've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission, which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Great read to break up the play. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We'll back with more in a moment. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Detroit's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead now. It's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Works it across to Riley. And he takes the pass. Receives the pass. How did he stop that one? This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Detroit's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Sider stick handling in his own zone. Detroit's crossed the line and on the attack. There's a shot. Unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Larkin. Breakaway! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking, and makes that save. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. The Leafs win the draw on their own end. Passes the puck over to McCabe. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Right up Main Street and on the attack. The Red Wings have played against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Gostaspare. Quick shot. What a glove save by Samsonov. Tavares takes possession right off the draw. Bertuzzi's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And he comes up with a stop there. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. 
Still lots of time left here in this frame. Detroit's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Comfers won it off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Perron. He carries the puck up along the wing. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Club goes up, makes the save. The Red Wings win it. And he takes the feed. Spectacular save on the play. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important. There's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working their opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Klingberg. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? The Red Wings are on the attack. Fires it! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Reeves works the puck in his own zone. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Passes up ahead from the left wing. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Costin. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. And they got caught up in traffic and hit the stick. Long jam in front, that's broken up. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Back at the point, they set it up. Here we go, he scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. Oh, man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Matthews hasn't disappointed when it comes to the offense. He's helped contribute, and I'm giving him my vote for this matchup, guys. Picks up the puck in his own end. Quick pass to Kane. Larkin's looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. Oh, what a stop by Samsonov. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Here in the back half of this period, Toronto still down by two goals in this one. Puck grabbed by Riley. Slides it across to Lilgren. Moves it to Marner. Poor pass on the play, and Puck leaves the zone. Handles the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Nylander. Shot! Denies him on the play. Quick feed to Nylander. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Taken by Gostas Bear. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Toronto's got it now. Oh, what a stick save. Huso's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Comfers won the faceoff. Moves it over to Perron. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And we'll get a faceoff after the offside call. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Riley. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. They go on the attack through center. 
In close. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Denied by Husso. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Late going to this period. 4-2 is the score. The Leafs win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Raymond's got it into offensive territory. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Raymond's been slashed. Penalty coming up. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The Leafs are getting penalized for slashing. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Larkin's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Bumped off the puck, and the play continues. Perron's gained the line and on the attack. The Leafs gain possession of the defensive zone. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Red Wings don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. A little four-on-four four coming up here. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Quick shot. Quick stop by Husso. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. Tremendous work in the offensive end. And there's a little physicality. There's a hit on the play. There's a hit right there. They clear the zone. Slides it diagonally to Yarncroft. Takes a shot. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Toronto's offense and struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Perron. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. A shot into the scores into the empty net. Kevin, I feel like you must have had a few empty net as you did. Oh, yeah, this guy's on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, this guy celebrated. I was down with Kevin. He's bumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Detroit's got a three-goal lead. Cox, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Takes the feed. Picked up along the wall by Sprong. Sends it ahead to Domi. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Slides the puck to Sprong. Grabs it in his own end. Off a stick and they can't connect. And as the 
final seconds tick off the clock. The home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Both teams ready in here for the faceoff. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Sprong. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. But the series is not won or lost with the opening game. But show, I bet show they have that win. And not everyone would win. I mean, it's such a long season to play it, but then you get to the playoffs. You know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. That'll do it from ringside here this evening for all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey is simply the best, and we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.